Jamie Barassa knows how stressful it can be performing on a national stage like the Briar. To walk out on the ice uh, and there's 17,000 people watching, it's, it's pretty neat. But he isn't throwing or sweeping for any team. Barassa is the chief ice technician for the Canadian Curling Association. There's so much more than just making ice, you know. I never knew I'd need math and physics and chemistry. Barassa and his team are responsible for the ice at the Road to the Roar in Kitchener this week. We'll mark out all our circles, everything, scribe our circles, paint the rings, run our lines, put the logos in, put the foams down, and start flooding to get a level. And all that is accomplished in just days. When we start to have to maintain it and get it ready to play on, that's when the real work becomes. And getting the ice right for this event is critical. The top two men's and women's teams will earn a berth in the Canadian Olympic trials. It was also a little bit slow today, but I think as the ice breaks in, we'll see, we'll see nice speed. It was um, really swingy, which we thought was going to happen. Usually when you come to arena ice, it's swingy, so that's good. We like that. Which is the beginning of a successful week for the ice crew. The players have to be good. We have to give them a good product so they can be good. Barraza is also being helped by some of the 250 volunteers working for the Road to the Roar. It just sounds like a really exciting opportunity. It's the Olympics, it's the Olympic trials. We are dealing with, with a, a prize that's, it's, you can't even measure it to these, to these curlers. Or to Barraza, the 36-year veteran isn't going to Sochi, but he does hope his services will be needed in 2018. So I got to stay in the business four more years.